Hey guys, Alexis here. Thank you for joining me today for Saturday morning prayer. All right, so today I thought is we're going to be asking God to open our eyes so that we can be able to decipher or determine the difference between culture and kingdom. When we think about society, we think about the ways of the world because the Bible says there is a way that seems right that leads to destruction. But when we think about kingdom, we think about God's way, his set of rules, and we want to make sure that we abide in that and do what God has called us to do because many times we want to look at culture and then adopt their ways, but we operate in a different kingdom and a different set of rules. So we're supposed to be influencing culture and not letting culture influence us. Because the Bible says we should be in this world, but not of it. So we're gonna ask God to open our eyes, give us wisdom, give us revelation. Don't let us corrupt our wisdom, meaning, okay, God, you have given us all this knowledge. You've given us all this understanding. So we know grace and grace will cover a multitude of sins. So basically we think we can dibble and dabble in culture and still be of God. But God wants us to rise higher, to use our wisdom, to use our understanding to become better and not just continue to do what we used to do because, you know, God is calling us higher. So I pray is that God don't let us be influenced by culture. Don't let culture override what kingdom says because the kingdom, the way the kingdom operates is different. The Bible told them to march to march around the walls of Jericho seven times. How many people in culture in the world looked at them like, y'all are crazy. Why are you doing that? The Bible is saying, have the faith of a mustard seed. You looking at a mustard seed like, Lord, this is so small. Like, But that mustard seed can grow into the biggest thing. You know, we can't be so consumed with what we see on the shade room, on the news, and different outlets like that on social media, on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, that we start to bring those things in our life. We operate from a different set of rules. When we walk in a room, our light should light up the room. We should change the atmosphere. I don't care if everybody in the room sad, mad, depressed, upset, pissed off. When I walk in the room, I'm going to shift the atmosphere to me. I'm not going to let the atmosphere shift us. And that's how we should be as men and women of God. We shouldn't be shifted, shaken, and moved to and fro every time a situation happens, every time things happen. When, when COVID happened, culture went crazy. The world went crazy. They started panicking and stuff. But the kingdom should have stood. The kingdom should have, the people of God, we should stand strong. We should not be shaken. Just like the children of Israel, we already had the blood on our doorstep. We went in their prayer closet. We pleaded Psalms 91 and we were protected. So we don't operate. We don't act a fool when the word act a fool. We don't look at what's going on around us and then start getting fearful because we know God. He has given us insight and foresight. So we know that whatever we're dealing with, whatever we're going through, he's, we, are, we have already overcame it. We already have the victory. Today, let us remember as we go throughout the day and throughout the rest of the weekend, let us remember the God we serve. Let us remember the kingdom that we're in. As soon as we accept Jesus as our um, Lord and Savior, we are in. We have his, we have His DNA. We have His prototype, His blood. So we're in a different kingdom now. So we rise above. We will not be influenced by our culture. I don't care if everybody else acting a fool. You make good choices. I don't care if everybody else going down that road. You know better, so you do better. You do what God has called you to do. And watch everybody around you rise to the occasion. You be the start of the change that you want to see. Because God spoke to you first, so you lead. So, Lord, we just thank you for everyone watching. We thank you for the words that has went forth today, God. We just pray that it doesn't fall on shallow ground god we just pray that the seed penetrates their heart god it penetrates their mind god we pray that they are changed we pray that they are moved god we declare and decree that we will no longer do what the world does we thank you for the world we thank you for everything around us god we thank you for the state that we're in god but we rise above god we use our past mistakes our past journey to teach infiltrate and change others god we use that as part of our testimony god we will no longer be shaken every time something happened every time the news come on every time we see something change god every time we see a, a report on the news a bad report on the news god we will not be shaking god we will be kingdom kids kingdom women and men of god god we will not operate by the world rules god but we will operate by your rules god we will listen to the news but as soon as it goes against the word of god we will stand on your word god we will not be like those who praise you in private 
but do not praise you in public, God. We will publicly declare the works of the Lord. We will publicly declare your name. We will publicly praise you, God. We will no longer be hidden Christians. We will no longer be sleep Christians, God. But you are sending awakening right now to your people. Stir up the gifts on the inside of them, God. Let them use their voice. Let them use their pen if they can write, God. Let them use their influence. Whatever you have given them, God, let them be able to use it, God, in a mighty way. Lord, we thank you today. We trust you, God. We repent for trying to do what the world do, God. We put that down. Thank you for giving us eyes so we can recognize it. And we seek and search after you. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us for Saturday morning prayer. Make sure y'all share this video with y'all friends, God. What's the point of you getting up if you're not going to get the people up around you? So let's continue to share, like, subscribe, and let's continue to grow in God. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.